gas and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. I thought I'd just come back to you with a quick episode today in regards to this news about a potential tunnel between Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Um, very, very little is known about this. I'm quite sceptical. I was going to do a video yesterday. I've been thinking about it overnight. I'm not sure really quite unsure about this i think it's probably probably a test area it's probably an area where they want to test out proof rock maybe there's some kind of interesting geology or some kind of very standard geology in this area easy geology and they want to test out proof rock in this area um, as well as uh, a test site in uh, las vegas so I mean, there's no reason why this couldn't then morph into a route between the two cities. I'm not doubting that, but I'm sceptical, and the reason I am sceptical, um, it's just, there's just, just very, very little said about this, other than that someone's come across and noticed this and discovered that it's the Boeing Company and they've taken a couple of pictures. Um, and it's not really much to learn from those pictures, really. We know it's proof rock. We can see that it sat on the cradle there. So it's using the uh, Europe method, ultra rapid, rapid underpass or paw poising, as the Boeing company like to call it. Uh, so photos have emerged online of large tents and heavy tunneling machinery belonging to Elon Musk's Boeing company in the California desert. The machinery could suggest that the Boeing company is setting up to dig a tunnel. And that's the key word, suggest. It's all speculation. The reason they're using this land here, I suspect, is because it is dirt cheap. Really cheap. You're not going to really build anything out here. It's kind of not really that useful land for anything. So it looks like they've either acquired it or they're, they're, they're um, leasing the land. And they're running some tests with some TBMs to establish the technology and to refine it because it's very very difficult without digging tunnels to produce a TBM that's going to be effective when you are called upon to use it so if they're going to build a tunnel in Washington DC for example they need to have a TBM that is tried and tested and, and proof rock is far from tried and tested it's not done a single tunnel yet we're using Godot plus um, but if I was going to put my kind of um, ideas cap on and really kind of speculate as to what potentially could happen here maybe it is a tunnel linking the two cities um, maybe it's thinking about a future Hyperloop connection now it's not going to start as a Hyperloop absolutely not it will start as a, an existing uh, essentially a loop with pods in there um, but I suspect if they were going to use this as a future Hyperloop and they wanted to um, to plan ahead so they could convert it at a later date, because all you'd need to do is um, remove the uh, and ensure that you, you know you install your, your maglev uh, system in there. That's that's not that difficult as long as you've got a nice long straight tunnel. Uh, with plenty of shafts so you can extract the air. So, I mean, it's not going to be that difficult to do that. Um, so, let's have a look at the picture. It's this picture here. As we can see, the proof rock is on the cradle. Uh, so, we definitely know that's proof rock. We've got uh, kind of um, a manufacturing area here. Um, it's difficult. It's very difficult to say. Very difficult to say. But it would make sense to build a loop here rather than a hyperloop initially so it's somewhere around here where the actual uh, proof rock machines are located and then here we have uh, Las Vegas up here so if I was Steve Davis and I was Elon Musk this is what I would do now obviously they've not applied for planning permission 
uh, they've not even uh, released any kind of plans or any kind of uh, concepts for what they want to do here. Again, that's kind of a, a bit of a, a giveaway that they're not really considering an LA to uh, Las Vegas tunnel yet. Um, but maybe they're exploring the concept and they're, they're trying to gain some um, understanding of the ground here. Who knows? But if it was me and I was going to build this, the first thing, number one important thing, is that I want to make the tunnel that goes here as straight as possible. Laser straight. Any kind of uh, uh, corners or, or turns need to be absolutely like very straight very like you really wouldn't notice them we're talking um a radius of at least 90 kilometers yes 90 kilometers maybe more maybe close to 110 kilometers you, you need it incredibly straight and and uh, that goes for the radius and that goes for the gradient as well you need to keep the gradient between around one in uh oof, maybe one in a hundred maybe over that one in 50 one in 150 and maybe one in 600 would be the kind of perfect or even flat would be the perfect gradient although you're not going to get flat across here you're just not going to get flat another thing that would be important if they're going to make this as a loop is they don't necessarily need to go the full way so they're just outside LA here you're not far from uh, San Bernardino here, the airport, which is another project. Ironically, it's just over here. So that, that again, is interesting that it's just down here is our other project, Ontario Airport. So we don't need to go in LA. We don't need to go in and, and under expensive parcels of land. We don't need to go through, uh, or the Boeing company does not need to go through densely populated areas. They could easily build a loop and start the loop here. So you would have to drive up here, but when you get into the tunnel, um, you're guaranteed, you know, 155 miles per hour. And that's coming out for me at 178 miles. It will be less than that. It'll be nearer to 150, 160 miles because you'd straighten this out. Maybe even under 150 miles. Uh, and then again, when you get to Las Vegas, you'd want to stop it just shy of the city. Uh, so I've stopped it here in a place called Sloan which is next to Sloan Canyon uh, National Conservation Area near Route 15. So again, the tunnel would exit here and then you come up. One thing to consider as well is if you're using uh, autonomous electric vehicles, um, you're gonna need to use the ones with a very big battery because if you're going down here at 155 miles per hour, you're gonna burn through that battery rather quickly and if that tunnel is 155 miles long, um, you, you know, if you start here with a 90% charge and then you get here, you're going to have under 10%, maybe even under 5%. So you're going to even need to supercharge here before you get into the tunnel. And then when you get out, you're also going to need to supercharge. A, an easy way around that would be to introduce platooning and maybe reduce the speed limit slightly, maybe 140, 145 miles per hour. That would make quite a big difference. Maybe 120, let's say 128 miles, 128 miles per hour would be the perfect speed really, because you, it's very fast and obviously, you know, it's gonna be a bit more energy efficient than 155. Um, so yeah, if they could platoon, that again would save them a good deal of energy, maybe over 15% uh, energy saving if they could have 10 vehicles platooning uh, and there's no reason why you couldn't do that on autopilot but just to kind of summarize on what's going on here with this secret boring company station it is not a station it is and this is me speculating i think it is a test area for proof rock they're testing the machine the test testing the systems uh, uh, they're testing the cradle, how they built, you know, they're testing, assembling and disassembling the machine. Um, this is not, not, is not a station. Um, this is a, like a learning area, basically. And it's going to be a long, long time before we see any kind of uh, tunnel um, in between Las Vegas and LA. Obviously, I'd love to see a tunnel there, but I think they've got a lot of projects on the books at the moment. If you've watched our quarterly reviews, um, 
that they should really be focusing on those other projects before they jump onto a big boy like this. Another thing that's worth considering as well um, is if they wanted to keep costs down on this project, they could initially start with a single tunnel, although you'd want to be building a dual tunnel at the same time. But there's no reason why you could put more TBMs on one side than the other and then finish off the tunnel you know, over a three year period and then have people using it after a year and then you finish off the other bit over two years and then you've got a bit of money flowing in. So you could have platoons of vehicles flying through sort of every um, every hour or so and uh, when you've got a certain number of vehicles here then you could start sending them through the other way. Um, and that would work quite well actually because then you could build the other tunnel alongside it while that's making some revenue. Okay, so that's kind of my summary for this particular piece of news tell me what you think do you think they're actually going to build a tunnel do you think this is just a test site um, do you think that potentially this might link in with the um, Ontario Airport project at some point you know that's a possibility as well though it's quite a low possibility uh, tell me what you think and um, let me know in the comments below thank you for for joining us this this afternoon slash morning for you guys okay so remember don't be boring and i'll see you on the next one thank you for joining us please like and subscribe join us on twitter instagram and discord thank you very much goodbye Ow.